Hello everyone, this is Brady with Lewis Motor Company and today we're taking a look at our 2012 International PB105 7 Window Short School Bus. This bus only has just under 106,000 original miles, has an International DT Series 466 Max Force 7.6 liter turbo diesel, automatic transmission. Overall, it's in great condition, came directly out of Prince George's County Public Schools. And overall, it's been maintained and serviced correctly. Now, if you've watched my other videos in the past years, I've had a few of these. And this bunch we have, I purchased this four. This is number two, first one sold quickly. But this is the lowest mileage one that I think I've ever had, but definitely the lowest mileage one out of this bunch. So it is a great opportunity at a very low mileage bus. Usually they have anywhere from 150 to 250,000 miles on it. Uh, this one only has 106,000 miles on it. But it's a great opportunity to turn it into a RV camper, to put it back into service as a church bus or school bus, whatever you wanna do. Uh, it would require a little bit of TLC to get it to wherever you want it to go. Um, but nonetheless, it is a nice little bus and overall in nice condition. We've got good tires all the way around. Uh, the drive tires, the rear tires do have a little bit of sidewall dry rot and cracking, uh, but still streetable. We drove these buses in about 30 miles. Now that being said, they are gonna be sold as is. We are keeping the price low. That's how we've always sold these buses. We're keeping the price low on them. They are sold as is. We have done nothing to them in regards to mechanical. The oil has not been changed. We have not checked them over. The only thing we've done is drove them in about 30 miles and all issues are noted. However, this bus starts right up. It drove in with no issue. It does not require a jump start or anything like that. So seems to be a turnkey, nice little bus. But the reason we do that is because I want to keep the price low on these things. Because most of the time you're gonna rip these things apart and turn them into a schoolie or a camper conversion anyways. So, looking inside, it's in nice condition. You are missing a couple switches on the driver panel there. Uh, but all your functions, you do have two fans here. That's going to be your form of air conditioning. There is no air conditioning on these buses. Um, there is heat, and the heat does work as it should. We'll go ahead and start it up. Again, this is going to be the lowest mileage one that I have. 105, 750, so 105,750 miles. We'll go ahead and start it up. You can hear it run. It starts right up. It sounds great. No lights on the dash. Check engine light. Uh, that's what it does when you first start it up, but it does go out. All the gauges appear to be working. And like I said, does seem to be intact and everything is where it does have cruise control got our automatic transmission opens and closes as it should now people do ask does that door lock well this is the only lock that you have this piece goes down onto here and that's locked so i guess if you call that locking but there is a way that you can get in and access it so it's not much of a lock but looking back here, all the seats are still intact. They do have seat belts, so you could use this thing uh, if you wanted to for transportation. Uh, just check with your local laws there, but got an emergency exit up top, emergency exit in the back. You do have wheel wells. So you've got about 18 feet of usable space behind that driver's seat there, and then about six and a half feet of headroom. So it's perfect for a guy like myself who's six feet tall little over six feet and you can move about this thing really nicely you've got 18 feet of total space so you can turn this thing into pretty much whatever you want it's an open canvas so you remove the seats it's a really nice opportunity and typically when people buy these buses they fly in drive them out of here and turn them into a schoolie or rv now we are not selling this as a school bus we are selling it either for parts or rebuilding but it is a fully functional running and driving vehicle. Uh, but basically the price I'm asking for these buses are about what the engine would cost you if you were to buy a used one off the street. So getting a great deal on these things, keeping the price low, and they are in great condition overall. 
you can see the paint shows pretty nice a little bit of fade showing down the side of the bus you can see the yellow is a little bit faded but you may be able to get that to come back out but most people do paint these things in a camper type color whether you paint it black or beige brown green whatever you want to paint it uh, the opportunities are really endless so these are a maryland bus it came out of prince george's county so underneath we don't get a whole lot of snow here so underneath is pretty nice we'll show you these tires i'm talking about the dry rot you can kind of see on the sidewall here there is a little bit of dry rot showing on the sidewall so tires aren't in bad condition we, they got deep tread remaining uh, but they do have a little bit of age on them sometimes they just happens uh, even without age but in here you've got your rear heater now most people will remove this and do an electric heater or something along those lines or even a, i've seen some of my buses go and they have wood stoves in them that's really cool uh, but underneath you can see this compartment here is all bus equipment so probably going to end up removing that anyways all that stuff in there and this houses your batteries it's got three batteries they seem to work as they should the bus has sat for a couple of weeks and they started right up today so pretty happy about that the steer tires are in good condition. Don't notice anything wrong with the steer tires. But the bus sounds healthy, runs, drives, operates as it should. We, again, drove it in 30 miles. That's all we've done. It's all we've driven it. It's all we're going to drive it. But it did well on its drive in. Go ahead and show you underneath. Buses are owned, maintained, and serviced by the county. Bought it directly from them. Seems to be a nice running and driving bus. Now, again, these buses are going to be sold as is. We're selling it basically as a truck. Uh, to be converted into a camper and RV. Uh, it's in great shape overall. Only 106,000 miles on this thing. It's got an international engine, automatic transmission, but it is sold as is, but it seems to run, drive, and operate correctly. You can check this bus out for sale on our website, which is lewistrucks.com. That's L-E-W-I-S, trucksofthenest.com. This is number two out of four. I'm just gonna sell one at a time. So uh, this is the lowest mileage one I have, and I'm gonna keep price very aggressive so that'll get sold uh, but i can ship this bus throughout the united states call me i'll give you a quote on that we're lewis motor company we're located in clarksville maryland which is just outside of baltimore maryland if you like this bus you need a couple of them give me a call we'll get you sold two of them or even three thank you guys for watching